We got Roy Vex Z. Yo, Roy, my dude. This next one is called Empty Game Boy. awesome <laughs> this is just so awesome man like jesus i love this track i don't know i think i i just love this from everything from how you opened it up with this very beautiful piano stuff dude this was like vibey as all fuck you know i i'm really digging this you know very jazzy kind of kind of adds a layer of sophistication to your music but then you know you really bring us in heavy like i i don't know this felt so dynamic to me and i i guess i just feel like uh you know in a lot of electronic music dynamic is kind of overlooked and it's kind of hard to pull off i really love this the sound of these synths they are kind of like a little bit retro inspired perhaps you know i, I can definitely see why you called this track empty game boy <laughs> it, it's really sick man like i don't know i just i i'm a i love your sound selection in this everything is just sounding beautiful here so roy says uh most of the times the drop doesn't feel that satisfying after hearing it 25 times Times. But on this one, it still gets goosebumps on, from my own track, which might be a little weird. No, that's awesome, man. That, that tells me that you're really vibing with your own music, you know? I, I think that that's actually pretty important. It kind of tells me that you, uh, first of all, have taste and that you're acting on that taste and you're making music that resonates with you. Sometimes I feel like I, I hear productions that it's like, yeah, that's kind of flashy and all, but I, I kind of have a hard time imagining that really resonating with with people or like we you know the even the person that made it i'm just not sure if they they are really like feeling connected to the music or if they're just like and here's a flashy trap beat roy man this is this is sounding so fantastic very stoked on this track that was sick